Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. And today we are going to do another update for my Supernatural Project Pan. This was a project that was created by Jessica and Amanda. So of course they're going to be listed down below. And we are basically doing a product for every single episode of every single season of Supernatural that is ever aired, which is a lot. So um, I'm trying to decide if I want to continue this project or not because I mean, I love Supernatural, but I don't know if like, I kind of want to do like a whole project pan, like team project pan, like whole face thing next year. And I mean, I guess I could throw in some other things, you know, in here that I usually wouldn't do like sprays and skincare and, you know, hair care kind of stuff. But I don't know, we will see. Anyways, we have four empties or three empties and one gold met. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so for season two, episode two, it is everybody loves a clown. And so of course I had to pick a blush and this is the Burt's Bees blush in Bear Peach. And it's super cute look packaging, but my goal was to hit pan and we did. So I'm so excited. Oh, by the way, it's probably been, it's been a little bit over a month since I filmed the up, last update. So probably about five weeks and I hit the pan like pretty much the next day. So there, there's that. <laughs> Anyways, so I am super happy that I got to, you know, hit pan on this. I really like this blush. It is, you know, of course, more of a peachy type of nude, but it's got a little bit of a, like a shine to it, you know, like a luminosity. And these are very powdery, but I always use like the kick up that I have for like my other side of my face. But if you do have these blushes, they are not that hard to hit pan on. So if you're wanting to get one out of your collection, I would go for this one. But I have it in another shade too, and I really love this one. I may end up trying to pan that maybe maybe this year, maybe next year, something like that. Not sure. The next one is episode eight, which is Crossroad Blues. And so I picked a packaging or a product with blue packaging. So this is the Dr. Brandt Pores and More Luminizer Primer. And let's see, this is where we were when we introduced it. And then this is it. So this took me, I think this was a month and a half and this was a month. So, or like five weeks. So I would say, you know, maybe about three months and I finished this one off. I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. It's, um, I mean, and I squeezed it and I even like shook it so I could get all the product out. I just like my Becca back like priming filter better. So I would purchase that one over this. It does give you a like a glowy luminous, you know, due to your skin, um, but it was just fine. I'm glad that I got it out of my collection because I think this is worth like $38. So there's that. So the next episode is episode nine and that is Croatoan. And I picked the Essay Edit by Estee Lauder, which that company is not even in business anymore. Um, and or that line from Estee Lauder. And it's the Flash Gloss, no, Flash Photo Gloss. I always mix that up. An 01 White Flash. And it was just a clear lip gloss and look at that like we scraped this i even took the stopper out and i know it's clear but hopefully you can see that there is literally nothing left on here so what i ended up doing with this one was i've been applying just chapstick underneath my mask but it wears off so fast so i needed something that was a little bit more sticky and could stay a little longer so I ended up doing this because if it does smear on my mask, it's clear it's not going to mess up your makeup because yes, I do wear a full face of makeup when I go to work, you know? Uh, so anyways, uh, I finished this off. It was fine. Not a huge gloss fan, but it got the job done. All right. And then the last empty is for episode 11, which is Playthings. And um, this is where that little girl, you know, drowned her friend. So I picked the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I like took the stopper out. 
and look at that look how clean that bottle is i am so proud of that like super happy so this ended up taking us about a month or so i think to finish it off but i like this foundation i think it's supposed to be a dupe for the like that really expensive la mer foundation i don't know never tried it but this one was good especially when my skin was like so extremely dry which i mean it always is but you know when my skin was peeling and I would say it gave light to medium coverage. Medium if you built it up, like put if you put two layers on, it would be medium. Otherwise, it was like a nice like light coverage, evening your skin tone out. But I don't think I would repurchase this one because I just have so many other ones. I like the um, Josie Marin Argon Oil one better, so I would purchase that one over this one. But if you want a good like drugstore hydrating foundation this is not a bad one okay next we're going to move on to the two products that i have left over and this is let's see for the episode seven the usual suspects with the um you know dean getting blamed for the murder and the girl in the white dress you know um i picked the product with the white packaging this is the h2o beauty oasis quench the day hydrating mist so this is completely opaque packaging so i have absolutely no idea where i really am but this is where we started and this is where i think i am right now we will see not really sure this isn't something that i would repurchase it does have a continuous mist which is nice but it's very aggressive continuous mist so it's like it's just really a lot so i can't use it as like after your makeup or a hydrator or something like that. I have to use this as like my essence, like in my skincare routine, just because it drenches your face so much. Maybe that was the name they had. Oh, why they had that one. All right, so for episode 10, it is Hunted, and I picked the YSL The Shock Mascara for the electrocution guy. Uh, Oh, that was so good. Anyways, um, I mean, I could call this done, but I think I can still get like another month out of it and I don't know I like it but it's it's got a little bit of an hourglass wand to it uh but I like this one to top onto other mascaras to give them just a little bit more oomph but it it doesn't it definitely doesn't get your lower lash line very well so there's that but this is is definitely a good one and I definitely use it again if I got it like a backup Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to products that I'm rolling in. I'm rolling in four products. So for the first one, it's episode 12, which is Night Shifter. And I have like my notebook here. <laughs> and this is where Sam and Dean go to investigate a series of murders that the bankers, well, they're at a bank. Bankers will be like great employees and like no history of anything. And then they will rob the bank and then commit suicide. So he go they go and investigate they ended up getting um caught in the middle of a like heist situation and they are in there inside the bank and with the shapeshifter and the only way without getting too much detail the only way to keep it to kill a shapeshifter is with silver so i picked something with silver packaging and i mean that's a little bit of a cheat the nozzle on here is uh is silver but this is the victoria's secret sexy little things noir scented body mist and so this is where we're at right now i really like this one it's got a little bit of like a musky kind of ness to it which i really like musk more muskier since i would say it's a floral musk and as you can tell it's kind of discoloring a little bit so I really want to get this one out of my collection and because I always forget to use body mist and because I always want to use a perfume because I want it to last longer. So um, I end up using this like when I go to the gym or if I'm just running like an errand or something like that where I don't have to have a spray last a long time, but I do want to, you know, smell good. So this is that's mainly why when I use this. So I don't get a lot of use out of it. 
but you know, I really need to get this out of my collection before it like really goes bad. All right, and then the next one is for episode 13, which is Houses of the Holy. So this is where they go and investigate people who end up killing people, murdering them. And they said that the reason they did it was these angels came to them and said that this was a work of God and they needed to kill these bad people and and like spite them. So um, it ends up being this like, I think this like ghost priest person that ends up, you know, doing it. You know, of course it's been a while since I've watched these. And anyways, so I thought what would be better than the Cap on the Saint perfume for the priest and the holy and all that kind of stuff. So I have this like little sample right here and I just want to finish this off. This will be my like work perfume because this one lasts longer, of course, because it's a perfume. I don't know if I like it, but I can't put my finger on what it actually smells like. It's. Of course, it's more uh, lighter than their the her center perfume. I would say it's a little bit more floral. Um, oh, I got that in my nose; it burns. But anyways, I want to go ahead and finish this off. I don't think I should have a problem finishing this off by next, you know, episode video update. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, so the next episode is Born Under a Bad Sign, which is episode 14. And this is where um, Sam wakes up and he is like covered in blood and he, they like have no idea what happened. Sam, but anyway, Sam ended up getting possessed and killing somebody. And um, when they're possessed, they always have black eyes. So I picked a product with black packaging. You know, we see a theme with all this. So this is the Lancome Tintadol Ultra Wear Foundation, like just a little mini. And this is in the shade 140 in ivory, something like that. I have already used like a good amount of this, but I really just want to get this out of my collection so I can have another foundation out. I can't decide if I like really like this or if it's just fine. Like I think the last few times that I've tried it, it's, it wears great, looks great, but it's not like I'm at the point now where I, I have to have a foundation that like really wows me in order to purchase it because I have 50 other foundations that are fine and will do the same exact thing. So if it doesn't wow me, then I'm not going to end up purchasing them. And then the last one is episode 15, which is Tall Tales. And this is where Sam and Dean go and investigate like really weird things happening on this college campus. And it ends up being a trickster. So I wanted to pick a product that was tricky and like not you thought you could pan it very easily, but you can't or you're not. It's like going on forever. And so I picked the Mary Kay Perfect or Perfecting Concealer in beige, let's see, light beige. And the reason I picked this one is because it's not my shade. It's literally the shade of my skin. So I ended up using it because I had my mask on all day. I have to, of course, like touch up down here. So I ended up using that as like my foundation down here. And I mean, I feel like it's a little yellow, but then again, I'm always like really yellow. So uh, anyways, um, this packaging is not the best in order to track things. But we still have the stopper in and I mean I have a lot of it you know gone but I have not taken the stopper out I'm still getting a really good amount on the you know the wand and I feel like this is probably gonna take me at least two or three more months to finish off just because I usually just use this as like a spot concealer so we'll see all right so we're gonna recap real quick um I think that I can probably finish these three products. So the Lancome foundation, the YSL the shock mascara, and then this like the perfume sample of um, from Kat Von D. So, or KVD Beauty, Vegan Beauty. So hopefully we can do these and we can get some more progress on these ones and get some more things moved out. Cause that's the goal of project planning. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check out Jessica and Amanda's channels again. And because they are, I think they're on season three and I'm like trying to catch up. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And definitely tell me which project pans that you guys are doing because I really am still up in the air on what I want to do. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.